Support WrestleTalk! Enable notifications. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Even though International Beat Up Your Boss Day is tomorrow, as the 16th of March is the date 316, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn got in on the festivities early, making SmackDown Live Commissioner Shane McMahon weirdly squeal like a pig after power bombing him on a metal rack. And the two continued their celebrations on Twitter. Hey, so that was fun! If you've never beaten up your boss, you should totally try it. I did it and it was amazing. WWE.com have followed up the injury angle with an update on Shane's condition, revealing McMahon suffered a laryngeal contusion and trapezius and rhomboid strains. He is currently being evaluated to make sure his airway is not compromised, like your mum's. But beating up Shane McMahon equals ratings, with Tuesday's post Fastlane episode of SmackDown drawing an impressive 2.77 million viewers, up 6% from the previous week and the highest rated show in almost a year. Since last April's Superstar Shaker, it was good news for Monday Night Raw 2, which averaged 3.35 million viewers, the best number since January's post-Royal Rumble episode. The road to WrestleMania typically has WWE's best ratings of the year, as the promotion builds to their biggest annual event. But up until now, there's reportedly been apprehension backstage over WrestleMania 34's main event. Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns for the Universal championship has been built up for over a year, but events over the last month have caused concern amongst officials. Lesnar's contract expires at Mania, upon which WWE reportedly believe he'll return to UFC. Reigns, meanwhile, has been accused in a bizarre steroid scandal by jail dealer Richard Rodriguez. These various controversies are reportedly why WWE have held off on booking Braun Strowman's WrestleMania match, as he was to be the main event's backup in case Lesnar or Reigns had to be swapped out last minute. With Strowman becoming the number one contender to the Bars Tag Team Championships on this week's Raw, however, Dave Meltzer writes that WWE are now fully behind Lesnar vs Reigns for the main event of WrestleMania 34. But that doesn't mean Roman's steroid controversy has gone away completely. The allegations stem from filmmaker John Bravo's YouTube interviews with Rodriguez, where the jailed steroid dealer accuses Reigns and actors Mark Wahlberg and Josh Duhamel of purchasing performance-enhancing drugs from him. All three men have denied this, with Roman going so far to say he's never heard of Richard Rodriguez. Bravo has teased releasing further evidence to back up these claims for weeks, but the only piece of note was a Snapchat post allegedly revealing former WWE wrestler Luther Reigns as a client of Rodriguez. Luther Reigns is, of course, a different person to Roman Reigns, and many sites reported Bravo had just gone on the current top babyface in WWE, confused with the former WWE undercarder who hasn't wrestled since 2005. The Wrestling Observer, however, is reporting that those close to Bravo say that's not the case, and Roman allegedly did have a connection with Rodriguez, but used his real name. Bravo said he'll be releasing a 25-minute video tomorrow, the 16th of March, so hopefully we'll be finding out either way very soon. Tomorrow is also when WrestleTalk's 500k day party will take place. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to find out what happens when I press the red button WrestleTalk Corporate have given us. And also, why not celebrate by visiting WrestleCrate.co.uk and using the discount code WTTV to get a free DVD or autograph in your first box. WrestleCrate is a monthly mystery box full of loads of wrestling goodies, which has items from the biggest promotions in wrestling. But what other match on the WrestleMania 34 card is also hugely controversial? Click the video on the left to find out. I've been Ollie Davis, 500k day is finally coming tomorrow, and that was wrestling.